Hi, Evernoters. This is Evernote Certified Consultant Dave Rebro. Hope you guys are doing well. I recently was asked a question about Evernote that I wanted to share with you guys. The question was, hey Dave, is it possible to create a table of contents note in Evernote desktop app version 10, so the new version, on Mac and Windows? Well, many of you probably remember that in the legacy version of Evernote desktop, there was a feature called the table of contents note or create table of contents note feature. And basically what that allowed you to do is create a single note with a list of links to other notes within a particular notebook. So basically when selecting two or more notes, there was a special window that would pop up over in the note editing area. And there was an option in there called create table of contents note. All right. And like me, I bet many of you use that feature as well. Well, in the new version, so version 10, that window doesn't pop up anymore when you select notes in the note list. All right. But there is still a way to create a table of contents note in Evernote version 10. So let's take a look and see how we do that now. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select notes in the note list, right? So I'm going to come on over. And there's two ways you can do this. You can select notes in a series. And to do that, you click on the first note, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the last note in the series. Okay. Another way you could do this is you can click the first note and then on a Mac, hold down the command key or within windows, hold down the control key and then select the notes. They don't have to be in order the notes you want to add in your table of contents list. Okay. Like this. Very good. Now I'm going to come back and do that full list with the shift click. There we go. We got it. And you'll notice that down at the bottom of the screen. Now we have this pop up here and it says six notes selected. Yes, that's six. And it also includes other note features like move, edit tags, merge notes, and move to trash. Also, we have a more actions uh, button here. And when I click on that, it brings up a menu that allows me to do some of the same things here and some additional things. And I want you to take a look where it says copy internal links. What we want to do for creating a table of contents note is select copy app links. All right. So I'm going to select that. And now I have links copied for each one of these notes. And we want to create a brand new note. Now, again, in the previous legacy version, that note was automatically created for you. In version 10, we have to go ahead and create our own note. So I'm just going to come up and choose new note. And of course, it's going to make it within my notebook that I'm working in, which happens to be test notebook. Here's my new note. And I'm just going to click in here and do a paste. All right. And notice that the name of each of the notes that I had selected and then copied their links now shows up with a link that goes right back to that note. And what I like to do is I like to stylize this a little bit and I like to use my list tools here and you could use bullet points to create a list. Um, you could use numbers or even if you wanted to, you could use check boxes. Let's do this. We'll use numbers and let's give this note a name. And very quickly, let's see, we can call this um, TOC, Table of Contents, uh, for Test Notebook. Now, if you're viewing your note list by title, okay, it'll put it in alphabetical order. And what I like to do when I have a Table of Contents note, I like to have that at the top of the note list. So what you can do is you can use a symbol. Uh, for instance, you could use an exclamation point and notice that I did jump this note up to the top. Um, you could use uh, an asterisk if you wanted to. I'll do that on occasion. You can also, if you wanted to, use a number. And you notice that we had like note one, note two, note three. You could put a number in there like zero. Okay. And that's going to put it at the top of the list as well. Okay. I'll just leave it as that. And notice now if I click on one of the links, let's go to note five. If I click on that, 
it will jump to that note, see right here, and you will see that we're in note number five. Okay, and let's come back and let's just say, all right, let's go check out note three. Great. Now using a table of contents or an index note, as some people call it, is great, especially when you have 15, 20, 30 notes in a notebook and you want to organize and be able to get to notes quickly. I'll do this within my client notebooks. I want to have a lot of stuff in there for the client. And especially when I'm sharing that with the client, I want to organize it and make it simple for that client and for myself to get to the notes within that notebook. So I don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll to find that note. So using a table of contents note is excellent for organizing and accessing the notes within a notebook when you have a lot of notes. All right, so that's how you do it. Let me sneak back here to note number one. And I just love crossing this off. And we talked about the options bar. Yes, we did. Yeah, we talked about copying internal links. Yeah, so remember, select, arrange. You have an option here to come underneath and choose that. Oh, one more option. If you want, you can just right click on any one of the notes in there and notice that you have the same options. To be honest with you, that's the way I do it. And then remember to copy app links is what you want. All right. And then that copies the link for each of the notes and you can paste it in a new note. Also, you can create that note outside of this notebook. So you can go into another notebook, create a new note and paste that in and you'll link back to the notebook uh, that those notes live in. Don't forget, if you want your table of contents note at the top of your note list, make sure that you're using a symbol, number, or a letter that will place it at the top of the note list when viewing by title. All right, everybody, I hope this helps you out. Uh, even though it's not as simple as it was in the previous version of Evernote, the legacy version, you still can make your table of contents note with a couple extra steps. Try playing around with it. See if you can make one for yourself. Okay. All right, everybody. We'll see you on Facebook in the Evernoters group. If you've got any questions, please ask in the comment section below. I'll monitor that and answer your question the best I can. Or someone in the group will answer that for me. Okay, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye now.